Hello welcome to my channel, today we will be modeling a low poly dog, the Doberman, this video will be divided in three parts in first video we will create a base mesh, in the second video we will refine it, in the third video we will unwrap it and paint our model, I will be going slow so the new beginners can follow along. So let's start modeling. I used this reference image to model our low poly Doberman. I got it from dimensions.guide. You can download this JPEG to follow along. Back to Blender. Delete the cube. Go to the folder where the blueprint has been saved, drag it directly into Blender. Press Alt G and Alt R to remove all rotations and transformations from the image. Now rotate the image 90 degrees, go to front view by pressing 1 on your number keypad, and zoom in, and we are going to use the upper left blueprint so I am going to center that part of the image. Press Shift A. Select Mesh, Plane. Align it to view. We should rename our dog Doberman. Now select the plane. Go to edit mode. Scale the plane in vertex select mode. Arrange the vertices. Press G to move. S to scale the vertices. And E to extrude the vertices. S to scale. Again extrude. And then scale. Follow the blueprint. Press R to rotate, when necessary. Try to keep the geometry as clean as possible. It is mostly the same form now on. It is all about extruding, arranging the vertices, scaling them and rotating. You might have got my point, and you can easily follow my steps. Press A to select all the faces. Press E to extrude. Could hide the image. Press C. To activate circle select. Select all the back faces. Press X to delete. Select faces from the delete pop-up menu. Go to the modifiers tab. Select mirror, uncheck X axis, and select Z axis, to mirror the object. Turn on the back image again. Press, Ctrl R, to put a loop cut in the geometry. Slide it to the side a little. Click to finalize your selection. Select the bottom face. Now again it's the same process we did before.
select the bottom vertices press SZ0 to have the bottom vertices perfectly aligned to the ground surface. Now we have a base mesh of our Doberman. Save your file, so you do not lose any progress. As this is the end of part 1. In part 2 we will be refining our model so it looks more like our Doberman. If you like the video, then please like and subscribe and press the bell icon so you can watch my other upcoming videos. Take care. See you in part 2.